Ladies and gents, welcome to your reaction. This is the Ebola virus explained. How your body fights for survival by the channel Khas Gazat in a nutshell. What does the Ebola virus actually do in your body? Why is it so dangerous and why does it kill so many people? We take a look at apocalyptic war that rages in your body after an infection by the Ebola virus and the soldiers fighting it. Yeah, I think Ebola virus is one of the most dangerous virus. Not by the just numbers, not by numbers, but how dangerous the virus itself is, right? So by the numbers, obviously it's the bubonic plague, Black Death, because how many people kill. But just by the power of the virus, how dangerous the virus is, Ebola is one of the most dangerous virus there is. Uh, another one is you know Marburg or something like that. Uh, it's similar to this. It you know causes your organs you know bleeding out and all the really after things. It kills most people that it touches. You know, I'd say ninety percent of the people. Uh, Ebola has, I guess, similar uh, death rate. So yeah, Ebola. Imagine if this uh, was, you know, last year's virus. Oh, the, uh, the, we all would have PTSD even if we survive after that shit, because you know, last year was dangerous, but the virus itself was not as dangerous as Ebola. Ebola is just way too much. So Ebola, there is a you know Hanta virus or something like that during the Korean War. It causes kidney failure and things like that. That's also one of the dangerous one. So yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know exactly how Ebola virus works because you know, like I said, biology is not my strong suit. You know, I, you know, I love science. You know, but by biology is not the one where I know more of. So you know, the more I react from Cross Gazar, the more knowledge I get, more surprise I become. So yeah. Remember, well, if you like my reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the reaction. There's a link in the description. Check out the cards. Well, please check out the end cards. And yeah, let's do this one. What makes Ebola so dangerous? How can a virus overwhelm the very complex defense system of the body so quickly and so effectively? Let's take a look at what Ebola does. Ebola is a virus. A virus is a very small thing. A bit of RNA or DNA and a few proteins in a hull. It has no ability to do anything by itself whatsoever and can only survive and proliferate by infecting cells. To avoid this, we have the immune system. The immune system is super complex, so we developed a visual system that makes it easy to understand. So it looks like this. Let's concentrate on the part that's critical to understanding Ebola and ignore the rest. So, usually, dendritic cells would activate an army of antivirus cells, support cells and antibody factories that would, together with the guard cells, wipe out the infection in a matter of days. But when Ebola strikes, it directly attacks the immune system. Some of the first cells it takes over are the dendritic cells, the brains of the immune system. Whoa! The Ebola so the, the immune system's first cell that actually is the brain of the immune system that triggers everything else, Ebola attacks that first. Damn. I mean, disease is specified to shut off our immune system before anything. No shit, it's way dangerous, right? I mean, our immune system is the one who fights off the viruses. It takes days, you know, one or two weeks. But in Ebola, before the immune system even realizes what is happening, uh, the cell that basically triggers everything and tells the immune system like oh there's an issue brain of the immune system Ebola just eliminates that from the start that is way after up virus enters a dendritic cell by binding onto receptors for cell transport once it's inside it dissolves its outer hull and releases its genetic material nuclear proteins and enzymes in a nutshell it takes over the cell disables the cell's protective mechanisms and reprograms it. The cell now becomes a virus production machine and uses its resources to build Ebola viruses. Once the cell is- What? It doesn't just kills it. It doesn't- It's like zombie shit. It takes over it and repurpose it in a way that it, it becomes a factory of Ebola viruses now. Holy shit. Damn, Ebola virus is way deadlier, man. I didn't know this. This is so effed up, man. ...is saturated, it dissolves the cell membrane, and millions of viruses are released into the tissue. The virus not only prevents the dendritic cell from activating the specialized antivirus forces, it manipulates it into sending signal proteins that trick the specialized cells into ending their own lives prematurely. So the immune system... 
is this some kind of a horror movie what the fuck in indoctrination basically i was playing mass effect recently <laughs> this is after pad man i'm so you know how does ebola doesn't have 100% death rate after this shit how do anybody survives this is ridiculous man this is direct attack at the main security of our body system is seriously disrupted and unable to react while the virus rapidly multiplies we're talking billions there are cells that should deal with infected cells the natural killer cells but they also get infected and just die before they can prevent the disease from spreading at the same time ebola infects the guard cells of the body macrophages and monocytes not only managing to circumvent their defenses it also manipulates them to signal to the cells that make up the blood vessels telling them to release fluids into the body all right like i said biology is not my strong suit so this might be stupid what i'm saying but is this engineered virus because seriously feels like that it is specifically attacking the main thing that is the defense this this is probably coincidence but it doesn't feel like it damn this is after up it's it's creating you know it's basically manipulating all this defense system attacking the main system that tells everyone there's an issue oh damn usually this makes sense but in this case it just causes mayhem all over the body neutrophils are activated awoken by the virus and the macrophages signals they're not very effective against viruses and should not be involved in this fight and begin to do lots of stuff they shouldn't do the neutrophils signal the blood vessels to release more fluid causing internal bleeding another area of the body ebola attacks is the liver the virus finds it very easy to enter the liver and it quickly starts killing loads of liver cells and causing organ failure and more internal bleeding and all of those things are going on at the same time as the virus spreads it's like nukes exploding everywhere what the one fuck one incident of this in one region would be problem enough but now it's starting to happen everywhere at once all the mechanisms the immune system has evolved to handle infections work against you and the virus continues to spread and spread and finally begins to infect more and more body cells while the body desperately struggles to stay alive in a desperate last effort to turn the tide the immune system launches a cytokine storm look all virus wants to do is stay alive by infecting bodies whenever bodies get damaged that's this side effect that's not what virus wants virus just wants to survive but in this case it feels like all the things the virus is doing deliberately is hurting the body this is what i'm thinking is this engineered virus this is probably one of the stupidest thing i would ever say but it seriously feels like it right i mean did anybody thought of that like was there a some news heading like maybe people are suspecting this to be some kind of a biological attack or something because this feels like you know all the things it is doing changing cells you know indoctrinating cells into doing things what ebola wants and in in the end it's bleeding out hurting the you know the body basically this is just after up man A cytokine storm is an SOS signal that causes the immune system to launch all of its weapons all at once in a desperate kamikaze attack. This hurts the virus but leaves behind tons of collateral damage yeah. especially in the blood vessels. Paradoxically, the healthier the immune system, the more damage it can do to itself. Whoa. More and more fluid leaves the bloodstream. Blood pours out of it. So let me get this straight. During the last pandemic everybody was saying that eat this eat that to you know strengthen your immune system. So if you have Ebola, you don't want your immune system to be stronger, is that it? So the more stronger your weapon is, your immune system, the more damage you're going to do to yourself. Every opening of the body, you become seriously dehydrated. There's just not enough blood left to supply the organs with oxygen and cells begin to die. If you reach this point, the chance of you dying is very high. Currently, six out of ten. Does is gangrene, uh, you know, a common thing during this time? Because you feel like if the cells are not getting enough oxygen and blood, the gangrene would start, right? Infected die from Ebola. Wow. Okay, Ebola is nasty. So it's time to panic. Wait, what? What did he say? Dying is very high. Currently, six out of ten infected die from Ebola. Wow. Six out of ten, so four survives. Whoa. after seeing all these things i thought it would be something like 9 out of 10 dies or something like that 90% death rate like you know that other virus 
this is just effed up man damn it it bleeds out it bleeds you out from inside you know how in in marburg virus is similar to this in that 90 percent of people dies or something like that so i guess it's the version of ebola but it it is even more effective at killing you i guess now okay ebola is nasty so it's time to panic right no not even close the what? severity of Ebola gets papers sold and YouTube videos shared, so everybody is talking about Ebola. But currently, the only way to get infected by Ebola is to come into contact with the bodily fluids of a person who shows symptoms or from an infected bat. So, just don't do that. Ebola. Ah, <sighs> that is so fucking reassuring, right? It doesn't spread through air. That is so good. By body, bodily fluid, you can easily, you know, contain that. That's why, you know, you know, I guess Ebola cases were not widespread here in India too, and anywhere. So, you know, what happened last year can't happen with Ebola. It can't spread it like that. So that's good news at least. Ebola has killed 5,000 people since June 2014. The common flu kills up to 500,000 people each year. Malaria kills up to 1 million each year. 3,000 people every single day. 10 children since this video started. So, even if Ebola is terrible... Mm. Anytime anybody who says stats like that, like people on the road dies more than certain disease, people, uh, you know, on Twitter or anywhere, there is, there is a sudden backlash that people have. The, you know, Neil deGrasse Tyson said something similar about something, that even though this is worse, you know, this many people die. So it just, he just gave stats and people just, you know, attacked him. Like, how could you say that you're insensitive, this and that? and scary, don't let yourself be scared. The most infectious thing about Ebola is the media hype around it. Yeah, that's You could learn a bit more about- In the US, that was such a thing, right? Ebola was that, boo, Ebola. That was a big thing in US when it was, you know, really widespread because there was few cases here and there. People were like, oh, that's it. You know, just run to your home, do, do not come out. Ebola is here, something like that. Even though it spreads by bodily fluid, you know, chances of that spreading is immensely low compared to the last year and even ongoing thing. About the immune system, though. Well, that's it. Damn, seriously, so if there is a virus who's like Ebola, but it's also airborne, holy shit. I mean, people are saying because of global warming and how places are heating up, how, you know, there are more... The point is, more diseases might rise up because this is low, humid and hot temperatures like that. So, in the future, if a virus comes like Ebola, which is also airborne, maybe there is some, you know, scientific barrier that stops it, like you can't be this dangerous and be airborne too. I hope it's something like that, but if it's not... Oh, that virus will basically wipe out, you know, more than half of the planet. That's just scary, man. What happened last year, people are already suffering from it. Economy is suffering from it. People lost their jobs because of what happened last year. It's still going on. It's something like Ebola comes. I don't know what would happen to the world stage. World economy, to people, people's thoughts, how people mentality would be. We would all have PTSD long term. Damn. All right, people, that was the Ebola virus. Uh, I cannot wait for, you know, a gene editing that basically can, you know, make sure the viruses like this can be eliminated like that. You know, we really need to make, uh, you know, heavy, you know, progression in that field, basically. You know, curves and whatever. All right, people, that was the Ebola virus explained by the channel because in a nutshell. If you like my next one, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the links I did. There's a link in the description. Check out the cards, all play, check out the end cards, and I'll see you next time.